Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 217 EXP. It's a beautiful, expandable, also known as a hybrid unit. Big advantages of hybrids, they're relatively lightweight for the amount of people you can sleep and they're nice and open because they're not fixed beds. This 217 model behind me weighs a little under 4,500 pounds and it can sleep eight to 10 people comfortably. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll take a uh, walk around and then we'll head inside. So if you're not familiar with a hybrid unit, as I mentioned, uh, basically you have your solid walls here and then the beds fold down kind of uh, very similar to like a pop-up bed and that's what you have here. The big advantage here, one of the great things I love about Passport is you know obviously all your rainwater and stuff naturally wants to run off here. Most manufacturers, this is all they use. What Passport does is you can look under here, this is actually attached, it's attached here as well. So that way you don't have any water that's gonna sneak its way in, you don't have any bugs or anything that are gonna crawl up in here in your bed either. Uh, so definitely a lot more safe and secure system. You do have the screens all the way around, the zippers are inside, so you can go ahead and drop these, you get a great cross breeze coming through here. And unlike a lot of your uh, tent beds of old, as long as you let this dry out, it will not mold. A lot of the old ones, you know, that was a huge problem having mold here. As long as you take good care of it, it will take good care of you. If you take a look underneath here, you'll see your propane tank right there. That will actually allow for two 20 pound tanks in there. Right behind that are the rails for your battery. And then coming up right here is your black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. On the far side there, this unit is prepped for solar. So if you want solar on this coach, all you have to do is buy the panel, uh, the portable panel there, plug it in, and it will start to trickle charge your batteries. Now these beds are nice and easy to drop down to. Uh, if you take a look at the door itself, I'll show you more when we go to the back, but you can see it has these guys. All I have to do is unlock those that will let these come out and that will allow the bed to drop right down. The beds, each one is supported by cables that can support 1,100 pounds. You don't have to worry about any kind of braces or anything underneath. The cables do the work for you. As we come over to this side, you will see this unit is a fiberglass sidewall, which is great. Uh, it also has aluminum studs in here, so top of the line construction for your hybrid. Power awning here, spanning the almost the entire length of the camper. Power awnings are great. If you have a, a pop-up now, you probably have a bag awning or you know at the very best a manual awning. The power awnings are amazing. You touch a button, it rolls out, same thing to go right back in. And you have an LED light strip going the whole length underneath so you don't have to hang up your Christmas lights. Just flip a button and you have the lights there at night for you. Getting into the coach, you have two steps so it is nice and easy to go ahead and climb on in. Uh, if you see right here underneath the awning, one of the things you will see is the outside speakers. Uh, so those are great too. If you want to sit out here, rock out to some music, you can certainly do that. Now those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit right out here and be able to control your music from outside. Another couple things, you do have an electrical outlet here, which is in a great location. You see, you don't have any vents or anything here, so this is a great spot for a table. If you wanna put a crock pot out here, plug anything in, it's a wonderful spot to do it. You'll also see right here is your outside shower. Most of the time, if it comes with an outside shower at all, it's in the back or on the off door side. The 217 has it located right here on the door side, which is great. It's easy to access, has both hot and cold water. So if you want to wash off your feet before you head inside, you can do that right here. So as we take a look at the back side here, I did not put this bed down for demonstration purposes. I just want to quickly show you how it's done. It is very easy. All you have to do is move this latch out right here. There's a lock, so obviously you'll want to unlock that to be able to move this. And that's for safety purposes. That way, when it is locked and you're going down the road, it's not going to pop out on you. So you move that out, then you just take your lever right here, turn that out. You'll do that on both sides and the bed just comes right down. So again, super simple and easy to set up. Right underneath here, you'll notice you have some extra storage. You gotta love storage. So you have outside storage here, perfect for firewood, small charcoal grills, whatever else you wanna put out there. That's definitely nice. And it also has a covered hinge on here, which is cool. Just kind of shows you the, some of the quality that Passport puts into their unit. You know, they're thinking about you here with a covered hinge. It's not gonna uh, have a bunch of rust and stuff that comes down. It's not gonna get beat up nearly as quickly. 
Spare tire right here as well. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it does come with that one right there. And right back here is where you put your sewer hose. This cap just turns right off, store your sewer hose right in there nice and conveniently. Uh, cable hookup in case you do have cable at the campsite. Then right over here is your 30 amp power cord. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 217 EXP. This particular model is in the granite interior. So as you'll see, this unit does have a slide over here, really opens this space up, uh, especially when you're talking about a hybrid because again, as I mentioned, you don't have fixed beds. Right over here is a jackknife sofa, so an excellent place to sit right across from the dinette, so perfect for conversation, you know, whether it's your family or if you have guests over and you want to talk, play a game together. Uh, again, I love the layout here. Also, this does drop down into a bed, so if you need to sleep, uh, you know, adult here, you know, it's a little tight, but if you have a child, it is a great bed for them. You will notice on both sides right here, uh, you have these, uh, this side, it kind of acts as a, like a little side table there, which is nice, great place to put a drink, but you have them on both sides. Cubby hole up top, cubby hole on both sides here. Great spot for slippers or whatever else, you know, if you wanna tuck your phone in there, you can do that too. And you will, speaking of phones, you will see on both sides here, you have electrical outlets, both sides of the main bed. So cell phones, CPAP machines, anything you need can plug in right there. Privacy curtain here to go ahead and close this front space off. An additional shelf up top here as well. Uh, you have this guy, this will allow for all sorts of different accessories, fans and other things can plug right in there, which is quite nice. So as I mentioned, we were outside. Setting the beds up is very simple. I kind of showed you on the back how easy it is to drop that down. These are the cables I was talking about right here. This is what supports the weight, again, 1,100 pounds. Then all you have to do is you take this uh, shepherd's hook right here, you will see this actually clips on. I'll show you real quick. Clips on right here. This part is fixed to the bed itself. You just clip this on, push it forward just like so, push that in, and lock it into place just like that. And that's all it takes. Your bed is set, ready to go. The bed itself, take a look at how thick this mattress is. Again, one of the things I love about Passport, you're talking quality, you have a super thick mattress here. It is the Teddy Bear series, so it is extremely soft as well. Uh, definitely a great bed, a lot better than you see in most of the hybrid units. Now this does fold for a couple reasons. One, it makes it easier to put the mattress up without having to bend it a whole bunch. The other thing is it gives you access to this right here. So you'll see they did pad this. If you want to use it for a bench, you can do that. But the other great thing is it has this handle. You can lift it up, take a look at all that extra storage you get. So wonderful extra storage tucked away right under the bed, just fully utilizing all that space. Also, as I mentioned, we were outside. You can see how there's zippers right here. So again, if you want to go ahead and unzip this, open it up, you are free to do that. Let's take a look over here at the slide out real quick. Uh, so as I mentioned, granite interior, that is this pattern. The thing I like about granite is it is a little bit darker. So, uh, you know, if the kids spill anything, it's not as noticeable. So, and plus, you right here, you have the leather seat. So again, if they spill ice cream, it's nice and easy to go ahead and clean that up. The great thing about a U-shaped dinette, it's bigger. So you have more room for everyone to sit around. And it also creates a much larger bed than your standard dinette. So all you have to do is remove these legs right here. This table will sit along the, the rails right underneath here, fill it in with cushions, and this makes a bed large enough for two adults to sleep on. You'll also see very easy access to the storage underneath. You have double doors here, a uh, door on each side. So that way you don't have to lift up your cushion to access uh, what you have underneath. So again, you know, it costs the manufacturer a little bit more money, but it's a big advantage to you as an owner. You can see the windows all the way around to let in a ton of natural light. Uh, at nighttime, you have LED lights here. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach, which is great, especially because, you know, a hybrid, it's lighter weight. You might be taking it to places where you don't have full hookup. You will certainly appreciate the LED lights because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Uh, one, or one halogen light, your incandescent lights, is about the, it takes about the same amount of power as eight to 10 LED lights. So it is a huge difference in power consumption. Let's take a look right over here. Now uh, you'll see your entertainment area. You have the TV right here. This guy is on a swing arm mount, so you can swing this out if you wanna kinda turn it toward the kitchen if you're cooking or turn it this way so you have a better shot sitting in the U-Dynet. However you want, you can move that nice and easily. Right underneath here, this unit, as I mentioned, this is 
your uh, multimedia center. So this controls the speakers inside and outside. You can use this little selector right over here. Also has HDMI ports on here, uh, USB port, headphone jack, and it has NFC capability, uh, which that is a little more technologically advanced. Stands for near field communication. If you have that on your cellular device, you can use that uh, to be able to control it right from your phone, which is pretty cool. So you can do streaming videos uh, through applications like Netflix, other things like that. Or of course the HDMI port again, plug in a Chromecast. Whatever you want, but having that capability is pretty great for TV viewing. Right up top here, I want to show you, you do have an AC. So, you know, this is a bigger unit. You want to be able to cool it down. Having an AC unit will certainly help with that. Ducted heat throughout. You can see the heat vents right there. Make sure that uh, it stays nice and warm in here on the colder days. Then we move into the kitchen. So right over here is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can take a look at that, guys. So you have plenty of space. Nice cutout here for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. What that means is if you're running this off propane while you're going down the road, when you get to your campsite, if it does have shore power and you plug it into shore power, this will automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Right across the way is the kitchen. Nice double bowl sink here and they give you sink top covers so you're able to utilize this as countertop space. You can see you have the larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right with a high rise faucet which makes it perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. Also a big window here to let in a lot of natural light during the day and again LED light there for nighttime. Three burner Atwood cooktop right next to that. The front one is high output. You will see right down here you have an oven uh, so that way if you need to do some baking it is nice and easy to do that. Let's take a look underneath real quick. So opening up underneath the sink you can see you have some good storage here two full extension ball bearing drawers. You have a great place to put your silverware, you know, spatulas, spoons, everything else you need. I talked about the fans and lights. That's what this is right here. Again, it just plugs into that unit up top. Nice and easy to go ahead and hook those up. And again, they come with the coach. Right underneath the oven here, you can see you have some extra storage. It does go back a really good amount there. So you have big space for all of your pots and pans. Uh, if we take a look at the counter or the uh, cupboards here, underneath, I talked about the LED light, but I did forget to mention right there, you do have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in, blender, toaster, whatever, there's a great place to do it there. Fully functional hood with the light and fan. Microwave right here up top. Your controls are right here, which are centered, just nice, up and out of the way. Uh, you have lights here. This will be for your awning, and then this will control your slide room. Beautiful cabinet door here. I love that they did this. Raised panel cabinetry here with a brush nickel pull. Open that up. You can see right in there you have some additional pantry space. Moving over a little bit further, we get into this guy right here. This is something Passport does in a lot of their models and I really love it. It's a very versatile space. So when you open this up, you'll see up top you have a hanging rod. So if you want to use this for hanging storage, you can certainly do that. You have the removable shelves there, you just take them out. Or you can leave the shelves in there, use it for pantry, folded clothes, whatever you want. But I love the fact they leave it up to you and let you make that decision. So as I mentioned, this one does have three beds. You can see right over here, I went ahead and uh, did put this one out for you. Same principle as the one up front, very similar. Again, shelf up top here goes all the way around, privacy screen to shut this bed off. And then underneath, now rather than having the storage up top, what they did here is they gave you two sets of double doors so you can access that right underneath. And then the back bed, I didn't put this one down, uh, but you know, it's a, ex exactly the same thing as this one here, nice and easy to operate that. Again, shelf space up top. This one does have an LED light in here as well as an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug anything in, you can do that there. And again, you have storage right here underneath. The bathroom in this coach is right over here, nice and easy to get to. So we open this one up, you'll see right down here in the corners, your foot flush lever toilet, plenty of uh, leg room all the way around there. Next to that, the Neo Angle Shower. You can see this is actually a pretty good size shower. It's fairly large, especially for any lightweight model. You can see the skylight up top, hand wand there and some shelves. And then over next to the skylight, you have the vent to quickly help moisture escape. Uh, right here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You have good storage behind that. Underneath your sink top and vanity, you can see your plug in there for hair dryer, whatever else you need to plug in, and some additional storage underneath that. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport uh, 217 EXP. 
This is a great floor plan. It has a lot of beds, a great sleeping space in here. Again, it's fairly lightweight. It's underneath that 4,500 pound mark and it's vastly open because you don't have those fixed beds and it's passport so you have all those extra amenities that most hybrids don't have. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give us a call here at American RV or you can always take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.